Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Power of Hope. Pretty careful, Bloom, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Good to have dreams. Of course, they had to put that moment down. I mean, because we know, we know Nuts is coming tonight. Precious baby boy. But it does make me wonder if Coco is also going to show up today as well. And that him and Nosemi are going to get that reunion that a lot of people want. But something also tells me we're not going to genuinely see it just yet. They're going to... They're going to tease it. They're going to tease the crap out of it. And then probably by like the final episode, he'll finally show up. And she'll be like, why have you been avoiding me? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. We gotta solve this fast. Well, yeah, Rin, you're the only ones who can. But see, here's the thing only half of you have changed back into Pridgears. You need all six of them, that's the thing. Oh no, we're seeing Coco today. Mm hmm. You might as well ask. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. 
It's interesting that she's leaving first. Yeah, because she gets to see Coco. Duh. That too. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, how well, how long has it been since they last talked? Hmm. But I'm guessing because he got so busy. Hmm. Must have left on the bad foot. But you should go see her. He's there up. Right, I mean, you can't really immediately ask him all these questions at once. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I would have loved to see these two reunite today, but they, they, mm -hmm, they teasing it. But that little sprinkle sparkle like there, you're like, you gotta wait till that final episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. Our other pretty cares. <laughs> The way these two act right now, they're giving me like Pop Team Epic, PP Me and Puff Go vibes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right? <laughs> Couldn't we spend like all night staying up watching a whole bunch? It's cute. Oh, there you are! His voice. God damn it! <laughs> I won! Oh, he looks so good. My Kingdom Hearts baby has grown up so much. Like, to go for me or. And to play Precious Protagonist, Sora, and then to come back to this. Oh my god. It's okay, I'm okay. I I'm fine with that. I'm satisfied with that. together. Oh my god. Uh oh. They're already gone. What if they're all going to the same area? Well, that wasn't good. That's not true.
Once again, I love that she is playing the villain for this show, but I still have hope that she's going to become a pretty cure. I have that hope. Please, God. You would think also, like, Komachi would, you know, transform today because, I mean, Nuts is here, but I'm guessing they're saving that for the next episode. Vicky's never come. Not only that, but you still think he would come, but he doesn't. He would have came. Right? That's a true quote unquote soulmate. A soulmate would drop anything to be with you. Uh oh. You sense what surface, right? Mm hmm. Oh, no. He coming. Oh! He still look good, too. We can't have him over right now. We're in a life or death situation, babes. Mm-hmm. God, they really hitting home for these two.
And of course, yeah, he had to see it for himself because <laughs> actions speak louder than words. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Once again, you're really here. Oh, baby. Oh, honey. <laughs> now, see, I just need nuts. And go watching to just give me my feels. Like, I got it. I got it today. Like, thank you. But I need them to hug, embrace something. I miss those two so freaking much. Something that, in my opinion, for our villain character, we still barely really don't know about her much about her and it's because it's so funny because you know mm, there's another series in a show that she's in with a character that she plays and we don't know ish about her on that show but you know in this next season we're gonna know much about her but this episode was interesting i i mean like i said at first i'm thinking like oh they're definitely going to be like we're gonna wait till the final episode for coco to finally show up and just let it all out Lay it all out. Let these two have a moment. Because, I mean, they're adults now. They, As, you know, Komachi has said, even when, you know, she was in college and stuff, they were still constantly still writing to each other and talking to each other and everything else. But since it's been four years since they last talked, I, I mean... That's messed up. That's a long distance relationship in a nutshell. Like you, the thing is, you don't know what your significant other is doing when your eyes aren't on them and such. And so we know that he was always doing work for the kingdom regardless. But I think, you know, as a, from woman to woman to grown woman to grown woman, it, it's a different feeling when you get to see the love of your life rather than reading something, you know? Oh, it's Ren's turn! Oh. I get that. You can! And it also makes sense that Cotton is like in this episode with her because of course like they are very shippable together as well they've had so many good moments together but because uh, okay let, let's say it like this when nozomi first transform rin is of course there with her and now when you look at the seiyus of those two of course they both moved on to the naruto series together of course rin is naruto and nozomi is you know boruto aka the sun so it's still fun to get that and such, as someone who is not a Naruto fan, but still gets to have that, like, moment. But, like, oh, my God, like, that's so cute and wholesome and stuff. Like, it was worse because, yes, I secretly do ship Rin and Nozomi because they look good together and they're just so freaking adorable and such. Um, I think before I had gotten up to take my dog out and everything, I was on Twitter and I saw a magazine cover of her and Nozomi together. And I was just like, oh, my God, like, the feels. Like, I can't. Like, not only is it, you know... 
babies, but it's also, when you look at it, Naruto and her son. And I'm just like, oh, that's so cute. I can't. Like, help me. But I, I get it where, or I relate to the fact is, yeah, being an adult is hard. It, it's no easy game. There is no book on adulthood. We all freaking know that. Like, if you don't know, now you know. But... There is no right or wrong answer. There is no perfect adult because you're not going to get in every same situation. Um, your friends are going to get into. You may, you, you know, you know. And let me let me reword that. You might, but it not it might not be the same way as your friends. Because uh, trust me, that has happened to me, where we've related on something, and the next thing you know, I'm like, mine didn't happen like this, but it happened like this. But I completely see the similarities and such. But I do like the fact that cutting is going to be the other semi-focus of this episode specifically for Ren because I'm just really excited for it. But we all know, what da Her episode is coming. Komachi, her episode is coming. I do love the fact that Nuts and Coco are here because it, it's the family's complete. That's the biggest thing because I was like, either we're going to have just one of them today or we're initially going to have both. And so I am happy that we do have both characters and our complete family as a wholesome do also love the fact that the other pretty cures from um, Sucking in My Season did show up once again. But even though we're not really seeing their faces, but more as like cat form and such because they want to conceal their identity. It it's cute and I hope we get to see more of that in the next few weeks. But like, oh my god, like this was good. Even with the dark moments, this was truly freaking good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 5 of Power of Hope. Pretty here, full bloom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.